Welcome Hagerman community. This is a quick update to provide you some highlights of what took place in the school board meeting on April 17th, 2023. We kicked off the meeting by highlighting the great Future Farmers of America program. And we were presented with highlights from the state leadership conference that took place a couple weeks ago. We got a lot of accolades out of that uh, great program. Uh, one highlight there, uh, we have a state officer from the Hagerman district, that is Josiah Knapp. So that's a huge deal. Congratulations, great job, FFA program. We then went and highlighted our employees of the month for classified. Let me bring up my picture here. Classified, we have Griselda Estrada. And for our certified, we have Cynthia Gonzalez. So congratulations, great work. Thanks for all that you do. We then went through our normal budgetary information, asked some questions, answered some questions. We didn't have any official public feedback request this month. Our board training was focused on what took place in the state and Senate, uh, the different uh, information that was provided. And we had highlights as to uh, some of the big items, obviously, were the new funding for both classified and certified uh, staff members, which uh, will definitely greatly benefit our district. We then went in and had an update from our five-year strategic plan of items that are focused on around facilities, uh, around the different items from an educational perspective, curriculum, and so on. We then have a disclosure by Dr. Jim Brown that he did purchase the bus yard and wanted to make sure that that was public knowledge and also um, announced a conflict, potential conflict of interest. So he will be removed from any conversations around our bus contract in the future because of that. We then went into action items. This is items that we can discuss and vote on. Uh, Kathy asked the board questions regarding how to budget for next year. And uh, we were all in agreement that all the additional funding coming from the state to our district that was to be focused around uh, classified and certified uh, salaries uh, needed to go 100% uh, to the staff, which is great news. Uh, in fact, I was at um, Twin the other day and I had to highlight this picture because uh, I looked at uh, McDonald's and I saw that sign that said $14 an hour starting salary and I no longer have to hold my head in shame. We can hire and our minimum uh, hiring salary or minimum hiring hourly wage uh, for our classified is $15. We've raised it to $15 an hour and then also gave raises to everyone um, their existing salary and their hourly wage uh, that goes along with that. So we're able to give a big boost to our staff and that's great. All of that's going to the staff. Then set the uh, date for the budget hearing, which will be in our June meeting. We approved a speech contract, renewal of a speech contract. We agreed to join the class action lawsuit against um, social media organizations uh, where um, they've had formulas that uh, are definitely there to target and uh, there's been a lot of damage for our youth uh, and discuss some of the suicide rates which are through the roof just uh, a lot of things that uh, did not benefit um, our uh, our kids and so in order to protect our kids uh, we have joined that class action lawsuit we then again discussed options for providing additional security um, and uh, potential to have uh, weapons accessible to trained staff um, or SROs on campus. We then went through a bunch of our policies, first readings, second readings. Uh, we went into executive session and we came out of the executive session and uh, we accepted the resignation for Dr. Jim Brown for the varsity basketball coach. Um, he filled in when we didn't have last year, didn't have a coach last year. And so uh, he needs to continue to focus on the superintendent role and the principal role and it's just a lot of work as all of our coaches put in so much time and energy for the kids. Uh, but we do have that opening, so we opened that up. Uh, we also opened up uh, a position for social studies. Does not mean that we lost our social studies teacher. It just means that it gives us more options uh, to hire if we have uh, good applicants in any of these areas. We can shift staff around 
But uh, here are the open positions. Uh, so feel free, you should have seen a Facebook post. Feel free to forward those to any um, candidates that you think would be a great value to our district. And that's pretty much what took place on Monday's board meeting. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the district office. Cheers.